Hey guys, so today I'm just going to take you through what should be an essential part of a football that's training your team. And it's just a great five minute warm up that I use before my training sessions and you should use just to loosen and warm up the muscles properly. To start with, I do a slow jog with the ball for two minutes just to get the blood flowing throughout my body. Now I'll just place two cones 10 meters apart. I start with four slow jogs. Now I'm doing two reps of skipping with shoulder rotation. And it's important to never neglect warming up your upper body as you never know if a muscle or joint will pop. Always take precautions. So now moving on to two reps of high knees. And you guys are probably familiar with most of these exercises. Some of you may even think a warm up is boring, but trust me, you guys have to treat your warm up as though you need it to survive. Just like you need food to survive. If you half fast your warm up, your performance will suffer in a game due to tightness. And you won't only increase the risk of injury, but by simply ignoring a five minute warm up, you potentially reduce your overall playing career. I mean, it's short enough as it is. So five minutes is all it takes, guys. Your body will be forever grateful. I probably should have mentioned this a little earlier, but all exercises incorporate a dynamic movement of sorts. So don't hold your stretch for more than three seconds as the goal of the warm up is not to increase flexibility, but it's to simply loosen and warm up the muscles. So save static stretching for after your session. Here I'm just working on a quad stretch and also realize how I'm leaning down to touch my toes and that's just to help improve my balance. So now I'll complete two repetitions of the cradle stretch. This focuses on the exterior area of the glutes and hips. And this is one of my favorite stretches as my glutes are always tight. Now the glute stretch solely places emphasis on the gluteus maximus, so two repetitions for this one. Now into the hamstrings with two leg swing variations. This first one really hits the middle area of your hamstring. And the second variation just hits a different area of your hammies. So two reps for each variation. So now we're stretching out our hip flexors. Now this is an important one that doesn't get enough attention. The hip flexors are the bridge between the upper and lower body and it plays an important role in all the common athletic movements that you will encounter on the pitch like twisting, turning, jumping, shooting, passing, tackling so please don't neglect your hip flexors. Now on to sumo, so this stretch just focuses on your groin I mean as you saw earlier we opened and closed the gate but again take precautions it doesn't hurt to do some extra stretches Now here's just another hammy variation that I like to use. So I'm just stretching my leg out nice and straight. Now I'm just trying to swing my arms down beside my boot and coming back up. And this just really hits the top of the hamstring or it almost hits your calf really. But again, just focusing on a different area of the hamstring. So now onto the calf stretch. So be sure not to hold on for longer than three seconds as we want to encourage dynamic movement here. Finally, we're moving on to more mobile exercises, so this includes shuffling and high skips.
Now for the last exercise I like to add acceleration and deceleration mechanics, especially if I'm focusing on speed and agility in my training session, as you want your muscles to be completely ready. So after a thorough 5 minute warm up, you're all raring to go for your session. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't yet for more training sessions, tutorials and to follow my journey to becoming a professional. Alright, until next time guys, I'll see you later.